I am Dave from Classic Trim and I've pulled this video together for you today just for uh, for two reasons really. One, um, the likelihood of us getting to any shows this year uh, is looking uh, more and more remote uh, and that's a real shame because we value doing the shows. You know, we spend a lot of time talking to you guys, you know, the owners of the cars, um, hearing your feedback, some good, some bad um, and, you know, more importantly, uh, hearing, you know, what parts you're finding difficult now to, uh, to source. And, and that's what drives our business. Um, you know, without you talking to you, um, we don't know what's in demand. So, you know, we don't know what to make. And we're not like any other supplier. We actually do generally, we make stuff, you know, we've spent a lot of time now over the last couple of years, probably going back four years, um, and a lot of investment uh, on, on dedicated tooling. And I think we're probably now quite unique. Um, there's a considerable amount of parts on the website available that are only available from us. You can't buy them anywhere else in the world. Um, so that's something for us to be proud of. Um, again, it's good to hear your feedback, um, but it's something that we can't get this year. So um, I'm, I'm really sorry we can't support the shows, um, but you know, hopefully I, I can today bring our show, our stand to you uh, and you can um, give us some feedback after the video. Um, also as well, I've got some great news. Um, our um, Generation 2 vacuum machine is now up and running. Uh, we're taking orders now for June and July. Um, it's, a, uh, an, it's a unique machine, there's only three in the world. Uh, one in America, one in Australia, and one here in the UK. Uh, we can take up to a 1.6 meter dash uh, in width uh, and basically vacuum a new skin on it. So it looks factory fresh. If you've got cracks, splits, holes, chunks missing, you know, we can repair it. All we ask is that you send us a couple of JPEG pictures of your dash, some dimensions, and we can give you an estimate uh, of, of the repair. And, uh, and obviously all we do, I then do, if you want to go ahead, you just post it down to us and, and we ship it back when it's ready. That's that. So enough of that. Um, I'm going to now take you through some of the products we manufacture. And just bear in mind that what I'm going to show you, the majority of this, is off um, pretty much production tools where we, we've gone and, and built the tool because we want something so 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 perfect. Um, apologies for the camera angle. Uh, I'm not technically minded. First video I've ever done, um, and uh, I'm going to take you through it. There will be some camera jolts. There will be some strange camera angles. So just bear with me on this, and I'll try and improve over the time. So I'm going to pick the camera up, spin it round now, take you into uh, one of our display cabinets here at the showroom, and um, just show you this. So this is the uh, the Mark One Escort um, binnacle, uh, fitted to uh, the GT, the Sport, um, and the majority of the AVO cars. Uh, production toll, not a reworked part. Okay, absolutely brand spanking new. Uh, I just want to take some time. I hope really you can pick up the detail in that chrome. Okay, absolutely superb. Um, as good as good as as Ford made it um, back in the seventies. Um, and, the, and the late 60s really really nice part and if you're sitting in your car or you you're about to sit in your car and you look at your dash and it isn't isn't as good as that then for a hundred pound you know and um, that's how much they retail for a hundred pound on on our website at www.classictrim.co.uk um, we've got a step-by-step -step how to guide on there as well so you can just go through it take your old binnacle out of the car as a complete unit lay it on the, on, on a bench and strip it down and put it back together okay really really nice and just what an improvement in your car unfortunately it's only available in right hand drive there isn't the volume now versus the tooling costs uh, to produce left hand binnacles i really do apologize but there are some guys out there um, who do really really good rework okay really really good they're not as good as that okay because that's brand new but they are very very good so just moving down and again this is where i'm starting to get a bit shady on me camera angles hope you can pick that up so what you're seeing there is six switches um that is what we call or refer to as the rs2000 mark one switch kit retails at 119 pound on on the internet and uh, obviously in the mexico kit you get you lose the brake test switch uh, you gain a blanking plate for the spare hole in the switch panel and I'll show you the switch panel later fitted up uh, and you get those. They're all the correct switches with the correct housings so if you order um, a twin speed switch it will come in a twin speed housing and again as I said before um, there's a how to guide on the website how to actually change these over uh, very very easy probably an afternoon's worth of work uh, and you've got 
with all intents and purpose, if you follow the guide, you've got brand new switches at a fraction of the cost that you can buy them at shows. I've seen some of our kits retailing at over £500. Okay, so, you know, if you're going to buy that kit there, you're going to save yourself in excess of uh, sorry, £360, and it's going to be an afternoon's worth of work. Okay, um, and just really show you the quality of these parts. Um, I've got uh, the brake test housing here in my hand. This is, again, brand new, off-production tooling. Just look at the quality in that chrome. Yeah, just going to sort of show them. Look at that. Absolutely brilliant. That's the level. Now, Ford never made them that good. Never, ever made them that good. Okay, um, we will look at Capri later on, but at the moment we're fully uh, planned for our investment for the next couple of years. And that's a, a brand new rock, rocker switch. Um, un undecalled, uh, due to go into, uh, into print probably in the next couple of weeks because we'll restock um, in preparation for the showroom opening at the end of this month. So really, really nice. It just shows the level of, in of, of detail we're at now. Um, just moving along, just really, really excited about um, showing you a new product. So that's um, an ashtray housing, okay, fits Mark 1, Mark 2, uh, Cortina, Capri, uh, Mark 1 and Mark 2 Escort. Um, prototype at the moment, production parts uh, will run as soon as we can get back to work. Um, so within, hopefully within the next couple of weeks, we'll run the production on these. Uh, we've given these to a few friends and a few um, suppliers, and they've all come back with really, really positive feedback. We used to make the fiberglass part. In all fairness, it was rubbish. Uh, I threw it away, um, did a load of money on it, and I said, no, we want to make this in production. And, you know, what a fabulous looking piece. Now, time and time again, I've gone to shows, and these corners are chipped off. Yeah, it's £30. Pounds. £30 on the internet, plus a bit of postage. Um, why wouldn't you want to fit it? Just really, really easy. Probably a 25, 30 minute job. Take your, take your panel out, remove your retaining clip at the back, pop that panel in, push back on your retaining clip, and that's it. Slide your ashtray in, and, and that's it. For all intents and purpose, you've got a brand new uh, ashtray there. Uh, and just for information, um, we are looking um, later on this year, or sorry, maybe later on next year, at producing the ashtray. Uh, we've we've got a couple of components out at the moment. So the um, the fag stubber that's missing on here uh, out for tolling uh, quotes. Once we've got that, then we'll probably go into production with this. And you'll probably be looking at about sixty five pound uh, complete kit for the ashtray and the housing to go in with the retaining spring on the back of it. I've seen these on eBay at over two hundred pound. Crazy money. All right. So um, that's that. Something to bear in mind. Won't be this year. Probably be looking at um, late next year. On the Mark II parts, um, you're familiar with this, you know what it is, you Mark II guys. Uh, C pillar trim for the back. Um, not a fiberglass part, this is again off production tooling, okay? Fits all two doors. Um, just look, I'm gonna just show you that if I can, the detail of that, okay? That is as Ford made it, okay? I'll probably argue that it's slightly better because modern manufacturing techniques far outweigh anything that was done in the 60s and 70s and 80s. That is really good. And I don't know if you can pick that grain up. I'll try and hold it as much as I can. But we've tried to duplicate the head cloth grain in the panel, okay? And it's all done properly. Again, as Ford made it. I've seen these panels, again, trading hands um, on sites and at trade shows, um, 200 pound a pair, yeah? Uh, and they're not original. They're, they're fiberglass parts. These retail on our website, 80 pound a pair. And for a little bit more, you can get the mirror cover as well. Okay, and we also do them in black. I've got one here. <clears throat> so obviously, a pair of those, 80 pound, uh, fit straight away, straight into your car, all done, no adjustments, nothing, absolutely beautiful. And, and just look at that, if I zoom that out, what a fabulous panel that is. So a pair of those, 80 pound, great investment, and just finishes your product. And it's things like that, that actually finish your car off to such a high standard, um, it makes you better you know, than the guy next door. And that's what it's all about. You know, owning your cars, you spend so much money on them. You want the best you can get. And why wouldn't you? You know, they're worth a fortune. Just something else we've brought, and, and at the moment we're, we've got a bit of an issue with our suppliers, uh, as you would imagine. Um, this is coming in uh, and available in, in very, very short supply at the moment. But it's the uh, the lower switch panel uh, for the Mark I Escort. You can buy these anywhere. A lot of manufacturers manufacture these, but not with this edge trim on it. Okay, it's unique to us. 
uh, it's got the it's got the end caps molded in so if that was actually sitting in your car you'd probably think that was original you know and that's what we want to do we want to drive across now that the parts that we're producing are at such a high standard you would really really struggle to tell whether it was original or not um, just moving up onto the slat wall bolt and you can see at the moment I mean, it is quite empty if I'll show you around I'll pan round but you know we're slowly slowly fitting it out um, so you can um, you can come in here uh, you can take the parts away uh, you know or we'll mail order them to you but um, just something that's um, up there we've got the kick panels and then to the right we've got the um, works center console for the switches and, and gauges but the uh, the kick panels again you know you can buy them anywhere um, our ones come with the clips so they're out of the bag ready to fit and, and a lot along with all of our, a lot of our stuff uh, you know that's what we want even the trim kits that we supply uh, we want you to be able to take it out of the box and fit the trim kit um, there's no fussing about with um, trying to find different bits and different bobs you know it comes as a complete kit it's easy for you to do it a weekend's worth of work and you fit a brand new interior in your car okay it's all available on the website and what we've got on there as well we've got PayPal functionality so you can go on and you've got peace of mind that you know you're going to get the parts if there's a problem it's our problem not yours because PayPal will refund you your money just like that so total peace of mind um, just some of the seats I'll talk about a bit more in detail about those um, and, and the options you've got and I'll probably do a video um, depending on how successful this is and the feedback I get um, I'll probably do a video just on seats okay because uh, I realize there's a lot of people out there um, who don't know what seats should go in what cars and uh, I've got a vast amount of experience I'm more than willing to share it with you all you've got to do is pick the phone up and ask me and I'll spend time talking to you as I do with any of you at the shows uh, and again that's the reason why I'm doing this today so just moving around and um, again I'm trying to get this in so what you're seeing now hopefully uh, is not a blank wall you're seeing a lower switch panel uh, fitted out as if it's to go into a Mark 1 RS2000 um, and obviously what you get as well is you get the uh, the curved shape rocker body okay and um, that's that if you want the Mexico um, kit we just remove the brake test switch and we give you a blanking plate okay that kit believe it or not is on our website for about 150 pound I think so if you work out you've got 120 pound for your switches 30 pound for that you're at 150 you're actually getting a switch panel for nothing and the switch panels retail at 70 pounds okay so really really great value for money uh, we sell absolutely loads of those uh, you know it's an afternoon's worth of work for most of you guys out there to replace it all the how-to guide on the website takes you through it you know why wouldn't you do it and just look at the detail in that in that switch panel I hope you're picking this up because I can't see what I'm videoing but but absolutely perfect there is a very very slight defect and it's just there but really once that's fitted you wouldn't notice it and time and time again I say I go to the shows and I look at the cars and speaker holes are in there and whatever else it's scratched it's damaged you know bar that little bit there that is a perfect panel okay moving out and hopefully you're picking them up now just about there I think so they are um, our rear cards okay and all of this again everything I'm showing you is available as a, in a kit uh, as a complete kit either for a Mark 1 RS2000 Mexico or twin cam and the only difference being is the choice of seats and the variation in prices but those uh, rear cards we elected when we manufactured that mold to take the ashtray slots out just simple reason being is no one smokes in the cars anymore and the chances of you getting those those baker light housings out without damage them it is is almost impossible um, i think in all the times i've spoken to people about those i think two people said to me they actually managed to do it and i think they actually cut their clips off at the back to get them out so so they're, they're available they've got our unique grained finish on the parts which matches our rear parcel shelf i can't show you that today unfortunately we're waiting for a supplier to come in but as um, soon as that's available i'll show you that um really really nice finish um just moving around then um on seats and i'll, I'll just pop up here um not something we do at the moment or we, we are going to do sorry we used to do these we used to sell rear seats out um, we took the decision to stop doing it because they just take up so much room but what we've done now is we do a very very simple diy kit we've manufactured the the base phone for the the rs2000 because there are two styles of seats there's a very early seat with a ribbon down vinyl covered and piping across the front and all that is is that a, is a flat piece of foam going across the seat you cannot fit this cover to that phone okay so you need a shaped cushion 
Now trimmers love these. We sell it. We're shipping these out all over the world to guys who are trimming, and you know it's a really really easy job. It takes hours to shape a cushion like that by hand. You know, well we've done it. We've made the mould. We've gone and produced the part. It's available on the web, and it comes as a kit. So you can buy the cover set either in vinyl with a basket weave insert to match the contour seats or as beta cloth to match your RS2000 seat. If you buy the kits from us as a, you know, our RS2000 interior kit, you get that put in anyway. All you do is you just glue the inside. There's a channel on the foam. You glue the inside of that. You glue the piping on the back of the seat and the tabs. You push them together, allow them to dry. Once that's dried, you literally then put the foam and the cover together over your frame hog clip it down and that's it, it's done. On the back it's even easier, all you do is you remove your old cover by cutting your hog clips off, you basically tidy up your rear frame, put your foam back on, put that over the top, hog clip it down, that's job done. Now even someone with no experience, I would say if you gave it a day, you could trim that seat to that standard, okay? We can do it a lot quicker than that, we've done hundreds of them obviously, and we've got the proper tools. But for someone who wants to save themselves a good couple of hundred pound, and just the postage on this alone uh, is probably around about eighty pound for us to ship it to you, you've got to ship your seat to us. Um, and so you're looking at one hundred and sixty quid straight away, plus the trimming costs. You know, doing myself out of money, but I'd rather some money put in your pocket. Okay, just moving round then on some of the seats, uh, and I want to spend a little bit of time on these. Just going to try and get that camera angle even better. Excuse me one minute while I do that might be a bit better so what we've got here is uh, is to the right the uh, contour six and to the left we've got the contour clubman okay completely different seats a lot of people uh, sell the clubman with the ribbing in this style smoothing down as a contour six seat that is a contour six seat never fitted in the mark one escort okay uh, fitted in the works minis all right and, and, and classic minis so loads of these out to Japan, the guys love them, we trim these in black and red. And, and, and the reason why I'm spending a bit of time talking about the seats is that everything we, we, we produce here, we're not by no means the cheapest on seats. You can buy seats much cheaper, but they're not as good, okay? Um, all of our seats, we buy, and the reason, well actually the reason why we're not as cheap is that we buy seats in from all over the world. So all we do is we charge a static price for our seats and then add any cost that we've incurred. Why wouldn't we do that? We, we can't lose money on seats, unfortunately, or we just simply won't do them no more. But our seats are built from ground up, so we strip the seat completely down. Any work in terms of metal is repaired, cut out and repaired, so it's absolutely like it was from the factory. And then we build it up. New webbing, new calico, brand new foam kits, and then uh, obviously high-grade premium vinyl over the top. And I just want to show you that, look at that. I mean, I'm really pressing that. And that's back there now. You would not believe that is close on a 60 year old seat. That looks like it's factory fresh out of the factory yesterday uh, and put on this uh, on the bench. It's not, you know, it's, it's fully restored. Okay, uh, just unique as well. Looking at the, the Clubman, as you see there, we also stock Navigator and custom seats. And just something I want to point out to you, a lot of people are selling these seats now as replica seats. Um, just something to, to know if you really, really want to be a little bit um, anoraki. But I don't know if you can see that, and I'm going to try and demonstrate by putting my hand over it. See my hand going down there? So there's a kick up on that cushion, okay? Um, the guys who are selling the replica seats wouldn't know this, so I'm probably doing myself a disfavour actually by highlighting this, but a genuine clubman seat, or any genuine contour seat, even this seat here, I don't even see that, the kick up, yeah? Contour added a kick up underneath here for your calf, okay, and that's unique to their seat. So, something that not everyone will recognize uh, just a part that you know, if you're looking at our seats, and so many of you've got our seats, you know how long they last, they're still sitting on now. We've been doing seats for 18 years, and uh, and some of you guys are probably driving around in seats that, are, that you've had for 18 years, and they're still factory fresh now. All of our stuff's guaranteed as well, so you've got peace of mind there, but just something to bear in mind. Um, you know when you're buying buying stuff like that clubman's also come with the option of the headrests um, I've just got one just here just one second I'm just going to spin it round so the works headrests um, will sit up there like that um, and they come in the brackets these are not fitted in yet these have just been trimmed 
Um, so obviously they will be going on, but they basically sit up there like that with an adjustable bracket on the outside. Um, you know, these are, these are not being cut or pierced for headrests because a customer specified he doesn't want them. So it is an option later on, and we can sleeve them and things like that. So just moving along then to our dashboards, um, right at the top uh, there, you've got that. That's our uh, works dash, and that comes with the the console I showed you earlier. Then just below that is the left hand drive dash. And we've got there the um, Mark One Escort Twin Cam Binnacle. Hopefully you're picking that up. Um, unfortunately, as I said before, we're not going to be able to produce that in left-hand drive. It's just the cost far outweigh um, the return, unfortunately. And then further down, we've got the, the Mark One right-hand drive. All of our dashes, by the way, are trimmed in um, a satin grain vinyl. We, we won't sell the bare dash unless you specify it. Uh, predominantly, that, that's on the works dash is where they, the guys flock them. We don't offer that service. So unless you specify you want it bare, we will send you um, a, a covered dash. Really, really high grade vinyl. Um, this dash and, and the one above, the, well actually all of those dashes, uh, I, I've done these about 10 years ago. And um, they come to me every year with the shows. People, God knows how many people have actually rubbed this as you do. You come along and you give it a little rub to see whether it's, it's hard or not. Um, it has got a, somewhat of a soft feel to it really really nice grain okay uh, this kit by the way you can order this as a kit so the binnacle and the dash um, either in Mexico format or twin cam format on the website and again once again it's a great saving so uh, I think we're also got on the website I need to check but I think there's also the option of having the uh, the switch kit with it as well okay so every time we had a kit we also tried to discount discount it a little bit it's just a, an incentive to buy the kit rather than the single components and it saves you money um, just moving down into the um, the Anglia dash, Th this is a, a classic example of um, a conversation I had about eight years ago, I suppose, on the stand with an Anglia owner, came in, bought some contour seats off us, um, and then asked us if we do any uh, any clocks or anything for uh, for Anglias. Uh, we had a conversation. And I said, I oh, wouldn't it be a, well. He said, actually, wouldn't it be a really great idea if I could have something like a Lotus dash? And I had a Lotus dash. Um, knocking around that I yeah, I bought, I bought at a show and what we've done is we've grafted that that pod into the Anglia dash so aesthetically that is an Anglia dash with, with a pod on it and now you can house your four 52 mil gauges um, so it just proves that you know sometimes you think you, you know we're talking you're talking to us but we're not listening we, we really are listening and um, it's conversations like that 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 spark uh, you know I don't know an idea in someone's head and off we go running with it and if you're sitting watching this video laughing to yourself thinking god blimey I remember that conversation well there you go okay it was you who started it I wish I knew your name because I've mentioned it now but I don't um, but you know you started that conversation with us we went away we built it and, and here it is now again trimmed in high grain vinyl not uh, with the clocks obviously with, but just with the, uh, the openings um, mini dash uh, something for the mini boys again very very similar conversation guy come wanted some clocks we originally did this in uh, what we called the uh, the rally spec which is the free gauge uh, option. Um, then we thought, you know what, let's just go totally radical with it and make a, a works dash. So we've done that now. Um, again, trimmed in vinyl. There's four versions of this. So if you think we've got uh, this version with a four op uh, uh, gauge option, we've got the free gauge option, and we also trim both of them in leather uh, with the twin stitching. Um, so just something to bear in mind. And obviously you supply your own gauges. I think a lot of people prefer the Smith's gauges. I've just put these in as display for the showroom just to give you that uh, the, the visualization of what it looks like. And then really just um, uh, a last bit I want to show you. So we've got the um, the Mark II two door at the top and the four door rear parcel shelves. We all, I also do um, Mark One Escort, Mark One Cortina, Mark Two Series Two Lux, uh, Cortina 1600E uh, rear parcel shelves as well. But I've got those to display today. As I said, we're just fitting out the showroom. Hopefully, we'll be ready to go uh, at the end of the month. If we are, I'll certainly do another quick video, much shorter than this one, hopefully, to just take you through some of the more products that we've got and how we've got it up. Um, I'm just going to move that round now um, and put it back on the stand and move that to there. Hopefully, that's the right angle. And come back a bit um hopefully you've enjoyed the video um it's my first one um if i get good feedback from you over the next coming weeks months uh, i'll do some more 
Um, I want to do some on seats, and I'd like to do them on consoles and things like that, just showing you some more products, and probably spend a little bit of time um, showing you our Gen 2 uh, vacuum chamber. Um, you know, it's really, really great. Uh, we're really proud of it, um, and that's it, really. As a final message from me, um, stay safe, stay indoors. Um, you've probably been promising your wife or partner uh, that you'll do all these jobs that they've been asking for when you've got time. Well, you've got time now. Get your head in, get your DIY done, uh, you know, whatever you have, else you need to do, do it. Um, I'm here at the moment running the shop on my own, so orders will be coming out. Unfortunately, they won't be as quick as they normally are, but um, you know, I'll do my best on that. Um, and I look forward to seeing you at the shows uh, in, in the near future. Um, if you want to pop into the showroom uh, once the, the lockdown is lifted, please just ping us an email, give us a team call, make an appointment, and uh, I really look forward to seeing you, as well as everyone will here. There's plenty of tea and coffee, and we've always got biscuits, so I look forward to seeing you later. Most importantly, stay safe.